Councilman Clinton is your turn. I like to ask a lot of things they could have won, but uh, I like to thank uh, Ron Ray for the drive all the way down from Marietta to give us this uh, presentation on the LED lighting. Uh, it is a tremendous cost savings, and uh, I hope we can do something with it in the very good future. Uh, yesterday evening, I got a phone call from the station about a water leak there on 41. 122. I called Public Works. And after I called Public Works, I went up there, and Steve was standing there. It took him about five minutes to appear to check out water right now. And I uh, went on, changed clothes, and came back and watched him. And some of the things that I saw was a little bit disturbing as far as the timeline it took to fix it. They didn't have the proper equipment. And there's other equipment out there that would make it much more. And, uh, easier for the uh, public works people to repair uh, things like that. Number one, uh, they were in a base area that was mine rock and they were getting the shovels and picks and everything trying to get to the pipe. Uh, if they had a small jackhammer, they could have been, that, and, and been there in five minutes versus four, 45 minutes and took three guys to dig into it. Uh, then I stood there watching them put the sleeve on he used a manual wrench, and I think there was uh, 10 bolts or 12 bolts on that sleeve that he has to go and tighten them up. It took him 35 minutes to install that sleeve by having a hand ratchet down there where the magic wrench, impact wrench, you can go zip, 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 you, know, you have to pull a little on each bolt at a time. That could have cut time. So out of the six guys standing there, we could have cut probably an hour and a half the time, time of six man hours times the overtime, we can save a little bit of money. So, and the other thing is a generator. We need a good Honda generator, electrical generator, so they can set up lights, not just one little light, but a couple of lights when they're working in the dark. So I would recommend this uh, council to, uh, hopefully Don can present us with some pricing on a small jackhammer uh, generator and some demand tools to facilitate this type of operation. Uh, that's on that. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I see a policeman sitting in the corner. He's hiding back there with his wife. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not a policeman. I'm a citizen. <laughs> <laughs> You're a citizen. <laughs> uh, I'll remember that next time you zoom by. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate everybody coming out tonight. It's nice to see faces out here. You see these great chairs or brown chairs. Nice to see people here. Uh, as far as the uh, high pressure gas, that is a wave of the future, and that's something I hope the council will address here in the very near future, between uh, now and next month. Uh, I think that could save us again, like the other street lights, many dollars over a period of time. That's all I have.